My name is Martin Baker. I set up and now run the Charity Learning Consortium. We're a consortium now of over 130 charities and we're set up um, about 10 to 15 years ago and the main driver was around keeping costs down to an absolute minimum to make the use of technology and learning affordable to, to the charity sector. We work with a lot of the big charities, mainly it's those charities that have a dedicated learning and development function or resource, so people like the, the RNLI, um, RSPCA, Cash Protection. We find the, the challenges for, for L&D exactly the same within the charity sector as they are any other sector. And I think one of the, one of the main things is L&D is, is something that's not really recognised within, within big organisations. And, and, and we joke that if you went out into the business, into an organisation and said to, to people, you know, how engaged are you with, with L&D, they'd probably turn around and say, what does L&D stand for, what's that? And, um, and we'd say learning development, and they'd go, oh right, yeah, that's part of HR, isn't it? And so what we need to, to do is to, to bring L&D to the table and, and make sure that it's recognised as something that, that's important within an organisation. And the way that we do that is show that it does actually make a difference. You'll have heard people talk about how we have to align our L&D strategy to the business strategy. In the, in the world of, of sport, of football, you know, athletes, to be and remain as good in what I'm doing now, I have to train. Or to get better, I need to train more. And so that's why footballers spend half their life training, practicing, before they actually get out there onto the, onto the field. And we, we don't have that same mentality within, within the workforce. The Towards Maturity Benchmark is a way of, of benchmarking, you know, yourselves as an organisation against other sectors, other organisations around the use of using technology for learning. And what we find is it's extremely useful you know, in life, in any area, to be able to benchmark against others to see how we're doing. But what we find with our members, the most important part of the benchmark is you know, they complete the benchmark and they then get a personalised report that you know, covers about 20, 20 pages specific to, to them as an organisation and that gives them the bare bones of their, their, um, their learning strategy or their e-learning strategy. What it enables them to then do is benchmark against themselves. And we have a, um, you know, there's a big problem in the, in the sector, in the industry, so it's not just within the charity sector, around showing some type of return on investment on what we're doing um, within L&D. By completing the benchmark, then they can look at their, their performance year on year and see how they move up the Towards Maturity Index. The way that we work with our members and use the benchmark is you know, we, we build it into the, the way that we work with those members. So when a new member comes on board, as part of that setup process, they have to complete the benchmark. And so it's completely integrated into the way we work with those members. One of the main reasons that people or charities work with us as a, as a consortium is because everything's based around the community aspect. People like getting together and, and meeting and working with like-minded individuals from like-minded organisations. And we have this, you know, this ethos that, you know, why, why start something if it's, you know, if somebody's already started it, you know? How do we, how do we take something that exists already and, you know, and change it slightly? The way that the benchmark then um, slots into this is once we've cut the data across our members, we look at those issues that are specific to our members around the use of technology for learning. Um, somebody from Towards Maturity will then run a workshop that is tackling and looking at some of those specific issues that have come out of our membership. When you're going to, you know, to, to the, the boards or the, you know, the trustees of your organisation to look for funding or to continue the funding for learning development initiatives that you're running within your organisations, you need to be able to prove that they're doing something and they're making a difference. And so by completing the benchmark year on year, it's great you can then benchmark against other sectors. You know, and that, that data is really valuable for, for our members. But you can also benchmark against um, other organisations within the charity sector which is, again, which is, which is crucial. But most important is they can benchmark against themselves year on year. And so they can show the, the positive effect that they're having year on year by using technology within their organisations for learning.